What is the best video you've ever made? If I was being more serious, I would say it was the Dealing with Useless Transformers Part 2 video. For me, this was a really fun one to make, and I actually watch it myself just because I think the, uh, the humor was pretty funny. But if I was being less serious, I would say it was this one. This is my greatest achievement ever. <coughs> What's 1 plus 1? It's 11, everyone knows this. Will Monkey ever have his memory back? Uh, like I said before, it's not really in the plan right now. Uh, maybe eventually, just not in this season, maybe in season 4. He'll just have to go off of, uh, Triangle and Monkey's word. How many questions can I get into one video? Uh, just the one. I'm not reading the rest of yours, sorry. Question, is Triangle technically your son? Because you made him, right? Uh... Question, pancakes. Um, thanks for commenting? <laughs> I always wanted to ask you this. What happened to Mechagodzilla 2021? He, he just disappeared. I have not forgotten about him. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but just know I have not forgotten about him, okay? Look out for that. Will Noodle Neck ever get his third head back again? It wasn't in the original plan, but you know, a lot of people ask for it. Maybe I will do it. Uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. Pancakes or waffles? Yes, I wanna know if he had changed his opinion or not. Look, you really think I would change my opinion? You really think you could hold me down and convert me to the opposite clan. You can take away all my subscribers, but I am still pancakes. Will Triangle and Monkey go to Kong Skull Island? I'm surprised I haven't done that yet, especially since it's my favorite MonsterVerse movie. Um, yeah, I think that should happen eventually. I just gotta figure out a good idea for the video itself. Are you hyped for the new Godzilla and Kong, a new Empire movie? Um, you know, of course, none of us know a lot about it so far, just because there hasn't really been a real trailer yet. Um, but I have faith in it. You know, it's just a direct sequel to Godzilla vs. Kong, so it'll be cool. Will there be another High Ground video with Rei and Kylo? Maybe far down the line, but for now, I'm either gonna do another prequel video that's the High Ground, or I'll do Return of the Jedi. I gotta cover that ground before I get anywhere near the sequels. By the way, the sequels don't exist. Do you like PlayStation or Xbox? I'm not a fair judge because I haven't really played PlayStation that much, only when I go went over to my friend's house like years ago. But I guess I'll just choose Xbox. Who are the lizard people? Uh, this is referring to Kyle, the uh, space lizards that show up at the end. Um, I want you guys to figure out for yourself, but I will tell you the name, or at least the name I have planned. Uh, the Crichton. Let me know if you guys like that. When will Kong get his magnificent beard? Oh man, I would love if he had a beard. Maybe I should just do that for Kong. Who voiced Godzilla and Monkey? Uh, it's me. Of course, uh, Triangle is just my voice normally. And then Monkey is my voice with a filter making it deeper. Will you ever make Triangle and Monkey and Noodle Neck fight the spot? Uh, that would be a pretty interesting video idea. Uh, speaking of that, I want to shout out, uh, uh, BHJ Films. Uh, they made the original Crease Your J's video that uh, I recreated and that video popped off for me so I just wanted to give them a special shout out. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description down below. Uh, when is the next Transformers episode coming out? Hopefully soon and uh, it will center around the Decepticons um, and I think it'll be pretty good. Uh, I don't know how soon it'll be, but, uh, hopefully that'll happen. Do you think you will ever change your animation style in the future? Maybe for specific videos, I'll make people look different in it in general, but I want to keep my style maintained, mainly because it's just what I'm good at doing, and, you know, I don't want to relearn a different style that'll just take way longer. But it's also, I think it's like my trademark, my style, you know, I don't want to lose that, I want that to stay. But, you know, for single videos, maybe, maybe that can happen, but who knows. Can Triangle breathe underwater? Uh, yes. Um, I I can't really, I don't really know how to expand on that. What is your favorite kaiju in Pacific Rim? Uh, yeah, I'm terrible at remembering the names of these things, but, uh, it's the flying one near the end of the movie, and, uh, it picks up Gypsy and takes it to the upper atmosphere, and then it cuts, uh, the monster in half. That's one of the cooler scenes in the movie. I recreated it in my Pacific Rim video. If you haven't seen that already, uh, go watch it. It's a two-parter. Yes or no? <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with no here. No, no, look, I'm sorry, okay? I can't make everyone happy. Where do you live? I live at 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. Where is Kyle? He is stuck behind a rock getting shot at by space lizards. Are you planning to do a Godzilla vs. Monkey go to Halo? I have thought about doing that for literal years. I even had Halo stuff in the videos themselves. Um, but yeah, I could do it eventually. Maybe I could do a thing where uh, they fight uh, Master Chief and the Arbiter. That would be kind of fun. Or Triangle, do you still have the barrel from Megatron? Uh, yes, they do. Uh, technically Monkey has it, but yes, it is still in their arsenal. That makes the uh, Triangle's precision beam that can cut through literally anything. What inspired you to animate? Uh, injury. 
uh, a few years back, I broke my ankle and I missed my junior and senior year of basketball, which, you know, that's that was pretty heartbreaking by itself. So I found something to pass the time by animating and then just posting some of the videos that I made on YouTube. And one of them blew up. So I made a sequel to the video. And here we are in 2023. I'm still doing the same thing. Should triangle in thermonuclear mode be called nacho triangle? Um, yeah, that, that's the new name. I like that name. The, like, the spicy Dorito. That's pretty good. What would you do if Flip a Clip deleted everything you ever created and so you had to start over? Dude, this is legitimately a fear of mine because I had comments before telling me that they got an update on their Flip a Clip app and it literally deleted all the projects they made. If it does happen, you know, it'll set me back, you know, like a few months. But honestly, you know, I can just slowly remake everything over time. You know, it's not the end of the world if it happened. Question. Monkey. Face reveal now. Uh, I've showed my face on the Jefferson Blunt channel. Uh, I just don't really show my face here, mainly just because I don't have a really good camera. Um, I'm not trying to be ambiguous about it. Just go to the Jefferson Blunt channel and you can see my face there. Uh, I, I forgot the question. I, I forgot my answer too. Like, I forgot what I'm doing here. How many subs do I have? Congrats on 400K. Will Godzilla and Monkey go to Hollow Earth? Technically they are from Hollow Earth and I showed it in the flashback sequence. I didn't really make it super obvious because I wanted you guys to like figure it out for yourselves. Like, oh, that, that's Hollow Earth. But that's technically where they're from. That's the universe that got destroyed off screen. I'd be in the vid also. Congratulations on 400,000. Uh, yeah, you made it. Good job. Have you ever thought of having a team to help you come up with the series and put videos out faster? I have before. I'm just, uh, personally, I'm worried about people not understanding the vision that I have for videos. But outsourcing, like, some things, like maybe making backgrounds, uh, certain voices, like, that kind of stuff would, would help. So, yeah, uh, it would be kind of cool if I could do that. Maybe later down the line, though, I gotta figure out how to do things myself first. With the length of a microwave and the amount of time of the solo of Freebird, how much is the circumference of the Death Star? What? I haven't even finished my coffee yet. What do you- what? How did you come up with GVM? Uh, it was just like all my other prediction animations. There's either a movie, a show, or a game about to come out, so I make a funny parody of it, kind of making fun of it. Um, but that was my first video ever to get a lot of views, so I decided to make a sequel to it, and then a sequel to that one, and I kept on going, and now it's the 36-part series that you see today. What is your personal favorite one-liner? or running joke or punchline of the Triangle vs. Monkey series. Uh, I've had a lot of running jokes that I really like. I'm trying to do one recently, uh, the uh, monkey throw, monkey kick. Uh, I'm trying to make that a thing for now on. Um, but from ones that I've already done, uh, I think monkey punching metal, to me, that's I just I just love that one so much. I love doing it too, and you guys like it too, so I like that. What are some of your favorite franchises, and can we expect to see videos out of them? Uh, I've basically made a video about every single one of my favorite franchises, except for Lord of the Rings. Uh, I technically made a Hobbit video uh, back in 2021, but that's The Hobbit. It's it's slightly different. Uh, I haven't done anything Lord of the Rings yet, but I really love it, so I really hope I can make a video eventually about it. What is your favorite food? You should know this. You should know this. Do I have to spell it out for you? P-A-N-K... No, wait. P-A-N-C-K... I, I, don't, I don't know how to spell. If Monkey is a silverback gorilla, does that mean that Triangle is a large Komodo dragon? No, actually. He is uh, one of the pyramids of Giza. Yeah, the big one right there. One day I should go there just so I can get the full Triangle experience. Will you make a prediction animation about Beyond the Spider-Verse? Uh, yes, when it comes out in like 2026, I think. It is a longer wait than uh, was originally expected because they said it was going to come out sometime next year. But honestly, they just need more time to animate. Let's give it to them. I'm willing to wait and I hope you guys are too. Will the science episodes ever be put into the canon storyline? Yeah, I could if I wanted to, especially since I introduced the dial on the button of the router itself, changing to different types of portals. But of course, I'd have to explain that to everybody in the series itself. I might just keep it on science experiment, but I could change my mind. What is your favorite Transformer? Uh, it is Starscream. He is literally my favorite of all time. You can't keep me in here, Megatron! What should I ask? I, I don't I don't know. What should I answer? I don't I don't know what to do. What is your favorite part about doing the series? I love myself like advancing the story, but you know, going to the individual places is pretty fun too. Like trying to mimic the style of those places. Like, I don't know. It, it, there's something really interesting about making like cool new videos each time. Have you taken art classes to improve your drawings, or is it just a slow progression from every single episode you've made? Uh, it's the second one. Just over time, I'm slowly getting better at things. Like even between videos, you can see I find like new tips and tricks that I can use to make things better, make things easier. 
and I've been drawing ever since I was a little kid, so it was like a lifelong process. Will Monkey's arm heal after getting a bullet in the arm? Uh, yes, eventually. Um, in the series itself, it's only been like two weeks since that happened. Um, for us, it's been a couple years, though. Um, but yeah, maybe at the end of Season 3, you will see his arm is healed by then, and he takes the bandage off, but uh, not yet. How do you keep motivation when you're working on an animation? Please answer this, I'm having trouble with this. Um, well, see, it's my job, so like, I kind of have to get things working, because everything else falls apart if I don't upload consistently. That's the number one drive for me, but let's say you're just starting out, you know what I mean? You need to make sure you have that drive to just do the best you can, even when you're not feeling like it, because future you will be really glad that you did with the cool results that you have with whatever you're working on. How do you think you feel when you finish the Triangle vs. Monkey series? Um, I don't know, that's so far down the line to think about, because honestly, once season 3 ends, that'll be the end of the story that I've built up to at this point, and that's gonna be feel pretty good, I think. But, you know, then I just go straight to season 4, you know? Well, why does it have to stop here? Well, let's just keep the ball rolling, you know? Once you started growing, do you think you'd have this many subscribers by now? Absolutely not. Like, okay, listen to this. When I was first starting to gain some subs, I thought that my end goal, like, like the unrealistic end goal, would be 100,000 subscribers. And once I did that, I beat YouTube. I'm done, you know what I mean? But then that just came and went, and it felt so easy. It was weird. But, you know, I was still happy all the same, but I had a, I had a realization that, you know, a million's not that unrealistic. If we never hit it, of course, of course, that's fine. You know, this, this already, this is enough. I'm already super thankful for this. All right, that's all I have to say for this one. But before you leave, I just want to say one big thank you. I have been given an amazing opportunity to make animations like this for hundreds of thousands of people, and it's all thanks to you guys. I may do the animating part, but you guys keep the channel running with all your support and the love that you give. And I, I just want to say, Thank you all so much. And if you guys were on my payroll, I would give you all a raise. You guys are amazing. Actually, fun fact, did you know that only 1.8% of people actually click on the videos that pop up on screen at the outro?